Ladies and gentlemen, this is the UK World Series 2016 live on Firebox. It's time for first fight of our event. Weight division 51 kilogram. Blue corner from Poland, Claudia Pawicka. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to King of Kings at the Manage Stadium here in Moldova. Buonasera, Dom Nilo, Shadow Nilo. Good evening and welcome. And we start the show up here with a ladies' fight. And why not? We're live here on Fight Box, ladies and gentlemen. If you just joined us, good evening. Welcome to Moldova, King of Kings. Volume 16 World Grand Prix. Like I said, at the Manage Sports Arena here in the capital of Moldova, Kishnau. 9th of April, 2016. It's all happening here tonight. A match made at 51 kilograms. Max representing Poland. The lady here we have coming in from the Garuda Muay Thai Gym, Claudia Pawitska. Ladies and gentlemen, red corner from Moldova, Nadezhda Kantsir. And her opponent coming to the red corner. Makes the red carpet runway walk into the squaring. Nadea Kansia from Moldova here in Kishnau. Looking very determined, very focused. Out to represent her home country here tonight. The 23 year old. A height, 166 centimetres. 51 kilograms. The trainer, Grigori Zugrev. Ladies and gentlemen, fighting for the blue corner. 24 years old, official height, 164 centimetres. With official weight 51 kilogram, professional record two wins one loss. Participant and prize for all fighting tournaments. Representing Garuda Muay Thai Team, Poland, Claudia. So our referee brings the lady warriors to the center, Andre Grosu. Two girls here with similar records. Red corner, Nadia. Two fights, two wins. Claudia from Poland. Three fights, two wins, one losses. So on paper, very even. Both fighters scaled 51 kilograms. There's only two centimeters difference. So on paper, this looks like a really good match. Let's see what happens here. Poland. Blue corner, blue gloves. Moldova, red corner, red gloves. To distinguish the two ladies, here we have, who are set out to do three, three minute rounds under KOK kickboxing rules. Both girls moving around the ring. Oh. 
Looking for a nice shot like that. Jab right hand, appreciated straight away from the crowd. The local girl lands the first combo. So, scheduled for three three minute rounds. And remember, if it goes to a draw, there is an extra round in KOK, just the same as in K1 rules. Both girls sharing the kicks there. Left body kicks together. Nice little exchange of hands again. So, like I said, on paper, these two look absolutely perfect. Oh, nice body hook coming from Nadia in the red corner. Both girls looking very focused. Good left up coming from Claudia. Remember Claudia in the blue gloves. Oh, nice. Nadia in the red. So it's opening the show off these two ladies here at King of Kings in Moldova, Kishnau. Both having a nice little trade off. Nadia switching stands from Orthodox to Southpaw, lands a good low kick. Claudia throws a nice straight three, four punches down the middle. So both girls had a nice taste of each other in these first two minutes and again a nice little trade off there. Fantastic. This is what KOK is all about. Here in association with FEA, Fighting Entertainment Association. Well, on my sheet here it says three threes, but these girls are fighting three twos. I've just been told, with the money just starting out. There's that right hand I was talking about earlier on. Got my fabulous KOK camera crew here in Moldova. The show put together by Mr. Dorin Damir and of course the president, the head of KOK, Mr. Donatos Simonatos, who sat ringside. There, you can see him there between the ropes. And our lovely ring girls to soften the tone. A fabulous stadium, this. Moldova. So we've had two minutes. First round of both these girls. A very, very equal round for me. I'm going to score it a 10-10 on my unofficial scorecard. I try to do this each time I commentate. Anybody who knows me and have listened to me over the years of commentating, just try to help out the audience. I know some of you guys are keen fans, and I know that you are very educated in the sport. Uh, but any new fans and people okay, just a little bit unfamiliar with the scoring system of how King of Kings K1 format works, basically it's scored on a few categories. Obviously, effect, making word things that land, forward, attacking, aggression, and accumulation. So there's quite a few scoring factors. It's different than Muay Thai. The Muay Thai is pretty much 80-90% effect. This is kickboxing. And look at this. Great trade-off from both girls. So one minute gone in the second round, one minute remaining. Like I said, great matchmaking from your promoters uh, here in King of Kings, live on Fightbox. Both girls up for this. Very impressed considering between them they've only had five fights. In total, this is the fourth fight for Claudia from Poland and the third fight for Nadia from Moldova. So these girls up and coming, putting themselves on the circuit here, and in front of a massive packed audience and a stacked card. Two title fights tonight, an MMA and a kickboxing title fight. Two beautiful belts up for grabs later, ladies and gentlemen. But right now it's between these two. Well, there we go, we've had four minutes of these two lady warriors. And it's a great start to the show. Both girls, plenty of work rate. And again, for me, not much between these two girls. I think personally it could all be on the last round. Here we see a little bit of 
No, nice body shots, head shots coming back in reply. So there we've just seen some of the slow motion action on that second round. What a beautiful, look at the stadium, look at that, fantastic. What a beautiful Manage Arena this is. The educated crowd in the art of fighting here in Moldova under K1 kickboxing, MMA and Thai boxing. So third and final round. Both girls go straight out from the stocks, meet in the middle and go for gold. Both out to impress the judges. This could be one of those fights that could be a draw. Because at the moment, my unofficial scorecard is going two rounds each. 10-10, 10-10. So let's see how this unfolds and how the judges see it. For me, slightly more power coming from the red corner. A little bit more work rate coming from blue. Nice high kick goes upstairs from Claudia. Looking to kick really well. Takes the left up. Nadia still keeping busy, looks to a corner. Lands two punch combination. It's coming up to the last 30 seconds of round three. Who wants it the most between these two femme fatales? Whoa, big right hook. Appreciated by the crowd. Claudia takes that well, though. And it's that overhand right that's doing the business. Ooh, big high kick. Well, 15 seconds left now in round three. 10 second hammer's gone down. Closing stages, what's been a really good busy fight for both girls. Then that right hook lands. Claudia takes it well. Well, what does our promoters think of that? Now, will it be the power shots or the work rate? How the judges see this? It's a close fight. It could go either way. It could go to a draw. It could be just the extra bit of power coming from the red corner. There you can see as Claudia winces, grimaces, but keeps coming forwards. Missing there with a the high kick. Love the slow motion. Look at that. Brilliant. There's one of my favourite fighters, Pavel Zurlev on the Ukraine. Light heavy and heavyweight fighter fights between the two weights. Features many, many times here on King of Kings, sat ringside as one of the special guests tonight. This time outside of those ropes. <laughs> but he nods his head in approval, appreciating the girls' fights. Just like I and we all have done. There's our ring girl smiling away. One of the heavyweight fighters from Romania. So Ladies and gentlemen, the decision by Regis. After three rounds by unanimous decision. Of all three judges. Winner is Red Corner, Vanessa Gansir. Well, it's a hometown win. No complaints from the blue corner. So I think maybe on the power shots, possibly the last round, but for me up to that point, I had it even. So a great start to the evening, ladies and gentlemen, to our fabulous 